Prepare to journey into the heart of darkness as we unravel the haunting mysteries of Portlock, Alaska. From inexplicable murders to eerie disappearances, this ghost town's dark history continues to intrigue and unsettle all who dare to delve into its past. Join us as we uncover the spine-tingling tales that have shrouded Portlock in fear for decades. Portlock, alternatively referred to as Port Chatham, is located on the southern tip of Alaska's Kenai Peninsula. Originally established in 1921 as a cannery town, Portlock thrived with its bustling industries, including lumber, chromium, and gold mining. The town's rapid growth led to the establishment of a post office, solidifying its status as a functional and dynamic community. The origins of its name remain debated, with one theory attributing it to a British ship with Captain Nathaniel Portlock, who sailed there in 1786, well before Alaska gained official statehood in 1959. The town's population primarily consisted of Russian Aleutiks and descendants of the natives of the Aleutian Islands. Today, surrounding villages like Seldovia, Nanwalik, and Port Graham claim the area is haunted or cursed, with eerie stories circulating about Portlock's ghostly presence and the mysterious incidents that have plagued the town's history. Reports of an unidentified, immensely strong being terrorizing the townsfolk circulated even before Portlock's official establishment, with indigenous populations warning against the creatures that lurk in the wilderness. Tales of a creature known as the Nantanook spread among the new inhabitants, describing a half-man, half-beast figure embodying supernatural strength and speed. Local folklore surrounding the Nantanook in Portlock, Alaska, is steeped in the traditional beliefs and myths of the indigenous Nanwalek tribe and Sukpak people. According to Nanwalek tribal lore, the Nantanook is described as a formidable being, part human, part beast, possessing immense strength and supernatural abilities. According to Sukon lore, the term Nantanook is derived from the Chugat dialect, spoken by the indigenous inhabitants of the Kenai Peninsula. In their language, Nantanuk roughly translates to those who steal people, evoking a sense of fear and trepidation among the Sukpak people. The origins of the Nantanuk myth are deeply intertwined with the cultural fabric of the Sukpak tribe. Passed down through generations, the tales of the Nantanuk serve as cautionary fables, warning against the dangers of venturing too far into the wilderness. Its appearance strikes fear into the hearts of those who dare to cross its path, with stories of its hostile encounters echoing through the annals of Sukhon tradition. This folklore serves as a vital part of the cultural identity of the local tribes, shaping their worldview and understanding of the unseen forces that govern their surroundings. In 1867, the United States secured Alaska from Russia in a monumental land deal of a mere $7.2 million. This acquisition paved the way for Portlock to transition into a United States territory as the region embraced a new chapter in its storied past. Amidst the backdrop of pristine wilderness and rugged terrain, Portlock thrived. Despite the absence of roads or trails, its economy flourished with bustling industries such as lumber, chromium, and gold mining. Yet it was the salmon canning industry that cast its shadow over the town as the largest employer breathing life into its bustling streets. Records from the early 20th century documented Portlock's unexplained incidents, including a temporary evacuation of salmon canning workers due to menacing sightings in the nearby forest. As the years passed, reports of mysterious deaths and disappearances attributed to a powerful entity stalking the area increased, further fueling the town's dark reputation. In 1905, cannery worker Albert Petka was fatally attacked by a large, hairy creature, sparking fear among the locals and reinforcing the belief in the Nantanook's existence. The town's woes continued into the 1920s, with gruesome slaughters and eerie phenomena troubling the residents, leading to a growing sense of dread and unease. Andrew Kamuk, a logger in Portlock, met a violent end when he was found dead under mysterious circumstances adding to the town's list of unexplained tragedies. Another resident, Albert Petka, met a tragic end after a confrontation with a mysterious creature in the woods. 
His account of the encounter before his passing fueled further speculation and fear among the townspeople. The situation escalated when hunters tracking a moose discovered a gruesome scene of blood and fur, but no trace of the moose itself. Tracks resembling human footprints, but larger in size, added to the town's growing sense of dread. Reports of people going missing, strange footprints, and mutilated bodies found in the mountains only deepened the town's atmosphere of fear and mystery. Stories of individuals encountering a bipedal creature in the wilderness persisted through the decades, with some hunters describing unnerving experiences with an unknown presence. The legends of the Nantanuk and an eerie ghostly woman in black that would disappear into the mountains added layers to the town's haunting history. A series of grisly incidents, including the mysterious disappearances of hunters and fishermen who ventured into the unforgiving wilderness surrounding the town. Locals and visitors alike have reported unsettling accounts of individuals vanishing without a trace, their fates remaining unknown to this day. The rugged terrain and remote location of Portlock contributed to the dangers faced by those who dared to explore the untamed wilderness, with some never returning from their expeditions. In addition to the alarming disappearances, reports of mutilated bodies found drifting in the rivers and streams near Portlock added to the town's aura of dread and foreboding. The discoveries sparked fear and speculation among the residents, who were left to grapple with the sinister implications of these disturbing findings. The mutilation of the bodies suggested a violent and savage force at play, instilling a sense of unease and vulnerability in the community. The correlation between the disappearances of hunters and fishermen and the presence of mutilated bodies raised troubling questions about the dangers lurking in the shadows of Portlock. Rumors circulated about a malevolent entity or creature preying on unsuspecting individuals, leaving behind a trail of terror and tragedy in its wake. The townsfolk lived in constant fear of the unknown assailant, unsure of when or where it would strike next, heightening the sense of danger and uncertainty that permeated the town. The escalating incidents of disappearances, coupled with the pervasive fear and unease that gripped the town of Portlock, ultimately led to its abandonment. As the number of missing persons cases continued to rise, residents became increasingly wary of the lurking danger that seemed to permeate the wilderness surrounding the town. The community's once vibrant streets grew hauntingly quiet as more and more individuals vanished without a trace leaving a trail of unanswered questions and unsolved mysteries in their wake. The exodus from Portlock was driven by a sense of fear and apprehension, with the collective toll of the disappearances serving as a grim reminder of the perilous environment that had claimed numerous lives and forced the town's residents to flee in search of safety and solace. After several failed attempts to re-establish the town, the final census in 1990 signaled the definitive dissolution of Portlock. At that pivotal moment in history, only a handful of resilient individuals clung to the remnants of a once thriving community that had been consumed by fear and tragedy. With each passing year, as more residents vanished or sought refuge elsewhere, the ghostly silence that settled over Portlock grew eerily pronounced. The town's deserted streets bore witness to the haunting echoes of the past serving as a somber testament to the enigmatic forces that had cast a dark shadow over its existence. Portlock's gradual decline into desolation was marked by a series of pivotal moments, each signaling the dwindling population and dwindling hope of revival. Historical records reflect significant drop-offs in population figures as individuals fled the encroaching terror that plagued the town. By the mid-20th century, Portlock's once lively streets had fallen silent, with only a fraction of its former residents remaining steadfast in the face of mounting adversity. Notably, Alaska, with the most unexplained missing persons cases of all states in the U.S., contributed to the haunting atmosphere that enveloped Portlock during this time. Despite its desolate state, Portlock remains a captivating enigma that fascinates and unnerves those who dare to venture into its forsaken confines. The lingering mysteries of the town continue to beckon the curious and the brave, offering a glimpse into a bygone era defined by inexplicable occurrences and lingering dread. As the shadows of the past loom large over Portlock's abandoned streets and dilapidated buildings, the town stands as a haunting reminder of the perplexing forces that once held sway within its borders 
forever entwined with its dark and foreboding history. In more recent times, despite the town of Portlock being abandoned, reports of encounters with the elusive Nantanook have persisted, further fueling the enigmatic reputation of the region. Locals and visitors alike have shared chilling accounts of eerie experiences in the Alaskan wilderness surrounding the former town. One such encounter took place in the early 2000s, when a group of hikers camping near Portlock reported strange sightings and unsettling noises during the night. They described feeling an intense sense of being watched and hearing unearthly screams echoing through the trees, sending shivers down their spines. Some members of the group claimed to have seen a shadowy figure moving swiftly among the trees, resembling the legendary Nantanook. In another incident, a wildlife photographer captured peculiar footprints in the mud near Portlock that defied conventional explanation. The tracks, resembling large humanoid prints, raised speculation about the presence of a cryptid creature roaming the area. Despite efforts to analyze and document the prints, their origin remained a mystery adding to the aura of intrigue surrounding the mythic creature. Ed, a bow hunter, had a personal encounter in the 1970s while in the remote wilderness near Portlock. Along with his companions, they were stalked by a mysterious figure during the night, causing immense fear and prompting them to be on guard throughout the night with bows at the ready. The entity, described as hairy and potentially shape-shifting, it left no trace when investigated in the morning and the men made a swift retreat to safety. Moreover, fishermen and hunters traversing the remote wilderness of the Kenai Peninsula have shared their own encounters with the mysterious beings they believe to be the Nantinuk. Tales of fishermen spotting a hulking figure with glowing eyes on the riverbanks, or hunters hearing unearthly howls echoing through the dense forests, have become part of the local lore, perpetuating the mysterious presence of the elusive creature. As modern technology allows for easier documentation and sharing of such encounters, Various online forums and social media have become platforms for individuals to recount their eerie experiences with the beings. Photographs, videos, and personal testimonies circulate, sparking debates and discussions among believers and skeptics alike, as the legend of the Nantanook continues to intrigue and mystify those drawn to the haunting beauty of the Alaskan wilderness. In the digital age, the enduring mystery of the Nantanook serves as a reminder of the untamed wilderness and the enduring fascination with the unknown. Whether based on folklore, fact, or a blend of both, the stories of encounters with the Sasquatch Nantanook in the vicinity of Portlock serve as a testament to the enduring allure of the unexplained in a world where the boundaries between reality and myth often blur, leaving a lingering sense of wonder and curiosity for those who dare to explore the hidden realms of the untamed Alaskan wilderness.